Mitzi, so you're friends with that piece of shit? I, I think friends is a strong term, but I do say I've known him for a long time because he Yeah, went. he's an absolute cock. Look, I agree. He's a cock, Mitzi. I can't talk to him right hey, now. Hey, how you I, 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 I tell him I can't even look at him. In a bad spot. Well, there it is. Like There's no chance in hell I, I would think y'all would ever believe. I would think y'all know me and know I'm, I love to I mean, the, the fact that I'm even having it, I mean, I'm, Let's go. I'm about to have a panic attack. Okay, good morning. We're in New York, flying to Cincinnati. From Cincinnati, we're gonna have a two and a half hour drive to Huntington, West Virginia. But we're ready to go. Got our bags, support system, eye patches. It's go time. I would say I feel, I'm excited, but I'm inevitably nervous. So we're in Huntington, West Virginia. This is like Wheeling's little sister. We got at least 40 fighters waiting to weigh in. A lot of people are angry and fucking hungry. There are a lot of monsters out there. I'm telling you, Rough and Rowdy 18, on top of having all these people from content involved, we're gonna have a great, great set of bouts. I'm gonna say that Biden can go suck Camilla Harris's dick, and I hate Democrats. That's what I'm gonna say. It's ready. I can beat on concrete walls with it, so I know it's ready. It should be bear hunting today. But come out here to do this. It's 99. Brendan Kelly, regardless of the records, regardless of how fast you run backwards, you're going to sleep. I feel good. I'm excited for tomorrow, bro. I'm sitting here just waiting for all this to get done. And then tomorrow, after the fight, we're going to have a good time. You know what I mean, bro? Let's go, baby. I'm feeling better than ever tonight, baby. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> Money time, baby. I'ma knock him the fuck out. Guaranteed. I'm yeah. telling you, dude, I, this will be the best performance I've ever put on in a rough and rowdy show. This will be one of the greatest fights ever in history. How you doing? I tell you what, I'm pretty damn excited. My guys prepared, my girls prepared. We're just getting ready for tomorrow. What did you say, is she small? Yeah, she's small. Is she wimpy? Good feet. Not that. No, that's what I'm saying. I got I got stronger like yesterday. <laughs> yesterday I got stronger. Yeah, I, I did. Don't tell anybody that. Tom, <laughs> cut the steroids part because I did take them. I'm assuming she's five eight and jacked. Okay. Well, then she's my size. And if she's anything less than that, she's smaller than me. And that would suck for her. Big money. I hate Democrats. I feel pretty calm. I didn't think I was gonna feel this calm. Actually, with my road, my road trip up with my husband calmed me down a little bit. Before that, I was like, I've been pretty stressed out all week long. Hey, Frank. Hey. Frank, do the weigh-ins ever make you nervous? Nope. So we're gonna get right to it, correct, Evelyn? Correct. I need our first two right now. I came here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. <laughs> Looks like I'm all out of bubble gum. All right, can I have you girls face off? I'm ready, I'm gonna give it my all and just after. Swap. Shizat, you're over here. We got Shizat versus the Iceman. I'm gonna show y'all how to end a three minute fight. This boy ain't from Coca Creek, Tennessee, son. He ain't been walking them mountains. He ain't went down there to the mouth of Coke Creek. I'm a car salesman from New Hampshire and I close fucking deals. Tomorrow would be the fight of the night. Alright, guys, look at the camera real quick. Good luck tomorrow, guys. We got Alex Bennett coming out right now. Why are you taking this fucking fight, Alex? To show myself that I can, because I know I can. So if I know I can, I can do it! I just wanna kick ass. We'll just get in there and feel what it's like to kick ass. Yep. All right, so we have a couple of unlikely backers for either of these girls. We're gonna bring out Cupcake side first. Kirk, you wanna come on out? Kirk, how are we feeling in front of tomorrow night? I see Alex's dad right there. I see their mom, that right there. When you see, take a good look. It's the last night you're ever gonna spend with her. I wish I could stop her, I can't. 
Talked to her earlier. She said, she said, I'm here to destruct. She's going to kick so much ass tomorrow. You're not going to believe it. They're going to end rough and rowdy after tomorrow night. That's Kirk Bidet and Team Cupcake. Now I'm going to bring out somebody who's going to be a little bit louder, I think. Bottom line, we heard Kirk. Kirk is one of the greatest promoters ever. And Kirk, thank you for making us money because more people are going to want to see the fight. You work for Barstool, you're one of the greatest hypers ever. Um, your reputation is being a scumbag, and you delivered like you always have. You're not fighting me. Why don't you talk about your fight? You, you Why don't you talk about your you fighters? Had, you had your time to talk. talk about, well, Do you I'll, want me to drop I'll you right later. now? I'll 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 later. Later. I'll This is a woman that's trained her ass off. Okay. That brings everything to the table. Not disparaging you at all. Not because I, I respect you. I, you earned my respect by being here. But bottom line is this. You're looking at the winner! Yeah. The winner! Ready to roll! Ready to roll! Woo! Very erotic right now. There's so much testosterone in this room, including AB and Cupcake. They're very much as well. Um, I'm just ready for the fight tomorrow. I'm really excited. And they serve refreshments here. So. I, ga I gained 0.8 pounds. No, you did not, man. I, I, Yo, I, I was just on Dougie now lost 37 pounds. He got to run the block. He got to run around the block. Uh, according to this, only you lost. just ate today. Was it? I think eat every day. That you, doesn't make no, a difference. The, the real weight is in the morning, right? That means last time I weighed myself was at night. But listen, the real weight is your morning weight. So my night. Okay, so that, that means doesn't you, count. This doesn't count. I gotta four, weigh that, myself in the that morning. That means that 454 uh -huh. is really like 450. I saw him in the lobby while I was coming back in from lunch. He's so much fatter than I thought he was, and I can say that as a fellow unit. Uh, he's got a big target right on his stomach right there, and I'm super pumped for tomorrow night. Just gotta be careful. Mimi, just going to be smart. She's shaking. She's completely shaking. My fighters does not want to talk. She's all business. And this is not that kind of scene. So I'm her advocate. I'm her voice. Uh, I give out. I'm on an Alex Bennett fan, but I give her credit for showing up. She's here. I wouldn't do it. She's here. I have done everything to prepare. I am ready for this. I believe in myself. I'm going to leave every single thing out in that ring. I just did it. You just did Jerry. it. You just did it. Jerry and Oh, I thought it was going to be Jam, Jerry. <laughs> I got you. I, this is the second ticket I'm up. No. Jerry, throw it. <laughs> My, oh, okay. Holy shit. What's it going? You weren't going you through it. You weren't pushing through it. I you walked through it. Are you, are you, Jeez, guys. <laughs> <laughs> These are not the vibes that you need to start a big day. Dude, I, you, you heard you, it lock when you, I you, hit you, it. You didn't push. Ticket. You went Four like this. You like put your like little bit of your knee you into it. Yeah. You didn't do anything. I, you're lucky I had four extra tickets. We, we have 12 seats. You use five of them. <laughs> How hard do you need to go? Is you should walk to through it. Push your body through it. Have you I was never hip gone through a turnstile? Yeah, but I was hip checking it. It wasn't locking on me. <laughs> I don't know. We're past it, so it's all in that. Oh, thank God. with a win. Let's start the day with a win. Need the four. I had the seven win. So we this. fucked ourselves. Look, look, I had a, a five. This, if he comes up for second. Or if seven stays. I had a this. thousand just to win on two. Look, five, damn. I know. Damn. So I fucked damn. you. Damn. And you fucked damn. me. Five. Yeah, no, dude, you fucked me and then I fucked you. Uh, $3,000 exact at cold, five, six. You fucked me and then I fucked you. Not now, this is the worst time. <laughs> like the three finishing third is the one thing we can't have happen. Come on, three. Okay, Dave. Okay, Dave. Okay, Elio. Okay, Dave. Okay, Elio. Boys. Good bet, boys. Let's go. That's what I'm betting. No one sits here until they throw. I'm betting 5,000 a race. Hey, listen, I'm betting. 2500 yeah, but he just and you make 20 million that I'm a, a that minute money. I make like a dollar a minute what I couldn't even bet more they it would, I'd be at the window for an hour and a half
Did you get it? I just fucking hit him, motherfucker! 9-1! Let's go! It's fucking cold, motherfucker! Yeah. Now one! Now one! Finally! Ice cold! Coach! Yeah. Jerry's cold! Jerry! Cold! Come on! Hey! Oh, I knew my boy was doing it! Oh! That's a monster! Hey, there it is! I got 9 1 cold, 1500. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. I got nine one trifecta. No! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, the box is one out there, but still, we won! We won three tickets! Oh, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Jerry, right? Jerry. Fucking, that's a big ticket! Let's go, Jerry. One dollar is thirty-five bucks. So thirty-five thousand. Thirty-five thousand. No way. Thirty-five grand. I have a fifteen hundred dollar gold. Twenty-five hundred times thirty-five. Sixty thousand. Yes. 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 The syndicate is back. Oh, it's 80, 87,000. 87,000! Oh, wow! It's gonna be 100,000 with the try. Yeah. Oh my god! 100,000. That's what you have to do, you gotta keep firing. We're having so much fun! Oh my god! Wow! That is, an, and Dan has 10. 10? 97,500. 97,500. Yeah. That's why you never give up. Didn't we say we were gonna hit the big one today? We were, we were we were sitting there just dreaming with each other. We're like, oh, we're gonna hit the big one. We're gonna hit the big one. Yeah, I thought you were playing around. Yeah. I mean, compared to what you guys hit, but still, it's a hit. Put it away, put it away. What, people got muggy? It's, it's new money, money. <laughs> it's new money, new money, new money. Right. Talking about the guap, <laughs> in the brain, in the okay. up the old money, the old money, the old money. And I get it from the text to the shot, even feel it with the sun it. Every type of way, boy, I gotta get it in. I'm about to pull up for the fucking lens, then I took it out. Great. It's, I mean, I'm so happy I got money in my pocket. Usually, this we've had some rough days in the syndicate, but I think with the addition of Jerry and uh, Dan, I, I, there's a lot more positivity. You know, like Dave sometimes is really down in the dumps, where I'm sort of a positive person, glass half full. Um, so good day. No, this is now public. I like big tone. Big tone at the end. He's like, thank you. I I, I heard you think I'm cringy. Thank you. I'm like, no. Who said that? I. This fucking guy tells him exactly. You can't be telling. You can't be telling family Yo, secrets. I, I got like pressed. That. I got pressed. What does that mean? Well, so now we know. Now we know. Put the light in your face. Yeah. Now we know. Now, now we know. You, uh, you'll that's, talk. that's different. Yeah, no, that's different. You're a rat. Right. That's inner oh, circle. Now we know you'll talk. You're a rat. Yeah. Hey, I'm a rat. Sure. He's got, he's got, yeah, what stays on PJ is on the PJ. <laughs> You're going commercial from now on. I just looked at him, I was, have you ever seen that Seinfeld when he's like, I heard you called me a phony. He's like, I meant phony, he's so cool, he's a phony. <laughs> like, he's so cool, he's so, that's literally, it's like, no, what? Who said that, no? And in my head, my brain was boiling, fucking Jerry. Did it to I said yes. I'm not going to talk about. It. I knew we would have to on this. This dude, Alex, I have no fucking clue who he is. All right, it's the first time I've heard of him, and then he makes the comment like, brings up the business. I'm like, this guy's a piece of fucking shit. Do you think this is over? Do you think Dave Portnoy will <sighs> muster up the courage to come back at you? Or well, let me give you the inside scoop. So I have a mutual friend from college that now works at Barstool Sports, and Dave had him on the podcast. So my friend called me today and said, oh, Dave talked about you on his podcast today. But my friend, he works for Barstool. He's like, Alex, you know, I want this off the record. But basically, I and I'm not going to say anything he said off the record, but I'm going to say this. I said, listen, Ben, 
You better tell Dave, you better warn them that when I'm in New York City, I'm coming straight to the headquarters and I'm going to find him. I don't care if he's doing a pizza review. I don't care if he's doing a podcast. Primetime 99, Alex Stein is going to call him out to his face. Mitzi, so you're friends with that piece of shit? I, I think friends is a strong term, but I do say I've known him for a long time because he Yeah, went- he's an absolute cock. Look, I agree. He's a cock, Mitzi. I can, I can really barely talk right now. I'm so, so upset right now with Dave Portnoy uh, going... What he's saying about me, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call like I see it. Everybody that knows me, I got nothing to hide here. I'll tell you exactly what happened. I reached out to Stein, who I knew back at LSU from his LSU house 15 years ago. I hadn't seen the guy in over 10 years. And I called him yesterday saying I've got my boss at Barstool's back against you. Period. Should I have made the phone call and reached out to him? Obviously that was a mistake. I, I should not have done that. I literally made the phone call backing up my boss in Barstool, and now I'm getting fried for it. I, I, I'm, I'm just sick. I, I literally am sick right now. Uh, this whole thing's BS. I love Dave. I love Barstool, Viva. And I'm, I, I mean, I'm almost kind of about to choke up. I'm so upset. Is he crying in like the, the, the stall, the bathroom stall? If you want to say yeah. something? You can say something quickly. Quick Go statement. ahead. Oh, okay. Quick I think you should puke. I, I, want, I, I really want to. You should. I do it. <laughs> no! no! <laughs> No, I wasn't kidding. No, I mean, I, there's well, no know, chance in hell I, I would think y'all would ever believe. I would think y'all know me and know uh, I, I love Dave. I mean, the, the fact that I'm even having it, I mean, I'm go. I'm about to have a panic attack. No, you just, just calm down. Okay. Do, 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 calm down. I feel so bad for him, but like, he's got to calm down. Oh, I know, they will be here today, which is bad, bad for Mincy. Um, I'm worried for his well-being. He should have never called that dude. But if it's off the record, it doesn't matter. You can't say off the record. I'm honored to work here and I love Dave. Here, I'm gonna, give you, I'm gonna give you some real advice. No bullshit. Okay. It's gonna suck for a little bit for you. Okay. But you'll be okay. I mean, this is, these are serious, serious allegations. This is, this is like doomsday type shit. If there's one thing I know about Dave Pornoy, it's loyalty is extremely important to him and making phone calls to the enemy is a, Big no-no. There's just something weird about why, if you haven't talked to a guy in 10 years, why would you call him to say, hey, I have my boss's back? Like, wouldn't that be like a given? I guess Brandon's the king of the South now. It's uh, Walkerland Delight. Shut up, shut up. I'm not one that celebrates somebody else's demise, right? <laughs> I'm not, that's not me. Uh, I mean, I've been in it, I feel for him. He takes everything serious, so like, you know. So oh yeah, and you don't? Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Rat talk is now yesterday's news. Yeah, last month's news. I mean, I'm, I'm on cloud nine right now because I was never a rat. Never. Okay. Thank you. Hey, 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 hey. I just, I'm not a guy that gets involved in scant. Well, I guess, apparently I do. But Mincy was somehow gonna fall. I didn't know it would be this, but somehow he'd fall. It would, it, the fall off was gonna happen. Hey, Dave's coming in today, by the way. Yeah, in the, 20 minutes. The, <laughs> oh wow, scenes. Uh yeah, he's been texting me. Oh I didn't I wasn't on Twitter. And I just got a text out of the out of the clouds. I said this Dave thing is the biggest misunderstanding. I called Stein to have Dave's back. But I was on Dave's side and I was like, Miss, I don't what are we talking about? And then I went on Twitter. Uh, and I was like, Dave's gonna be here, just talk to him in person. Well, no, I mean, I just, I, Stein's a guy I knew 15 years ago. You know, he got into it with Dave, and I called Stein to have Dave's back, and Barstool's back, and defend Barstool. Clearly, I should not have reached out to him, and that was a mistake, but Stein went on Jason Whitlock yesterday and said, I, we talked. And, and Dave, Dave de- messaged me earlier and said, did you call him? And I said, yes. I'm not gonna lie and say I didn't. I called him to defend Dave and Barstool against him. Period. I did it to back Dave and Barstool up. Period. Oh, Period. I can't talk to him right Dave, now. Dave, I just help you real quick. For the boys, baby. Uh, yeah, tell him I can't even look at him. I can't look at him. It's tough to look at. So how can I look a man? I mean, you got, we gotta keep a tight circle. He's right over me. It's sickening. This is this is literally this place around here is Game of Thrones. You tell Jerry something, he tells fucking Big Tone. Mincy's making side phone calls. I you, you I know enough. Game of Thrones is back. The second you can't trust somebody. Gotta kill him or else they'll kill you. He'll give that dude the keys to this kingdom. 
He's <laughs> in a bad spot. Well, there, there, you can see that I saw him outside. Oh, you did? Yeah. And what did he say? I said, I can't look at you. <laughs> he almost puked. I saw that. You don't know who to trust in this place. It's crazy. You got, That's you crazy. You got Jersey Jerry squawking to Big Tone. He's placing phone calls to this lunatic guy. And by the way, like Eddie sent me it. He, Eddie sent me the clip of what? It's the uh, fat guy. What's his name? Uh, Whitlock. Whitlock and Alex Stein. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't care. I, I could care less. I'm not like, I'm over this. And he's like, well, did you see what he said? I'm like, I don't care. And he's like, Mincy called him. He said off the record. Yeah, off the, the record. Words off the record. Right. And then he's like, it wasn't off the record. It's tough. So yeah. uh, I see you got the crown. Yeah, he is the king of the south. But yeah, no, Mincy, Mincy prayed of me. Yeah, yeah. and, and we, we also. There's no other way to describe what he did. Millmore's making that too. I, I got Fredo. I can't, I don't know. Yeah. You say a word here and. No, he went against the family. Kiss him and you say, I knew What a you, bananas Mincy. move to call him after. Wow. <laughs> How things turn quickly. <laughs> Oh my God! He looked despondent. Oh, he was, he was, he was basically crying. Yeah, I told him I was like, you should just throw up on the street. <laughs> Little way, Tommy. He'll be fine. Minor setback, major comeback. <laughs> Hello, come on in. Hi. We're ready. We're ready to rumble. Got the shirt on. We're rocking it. Go time. This is the final hairdo. We're we're weaving pink into the braids. Today has been um, as many hours as all the other days, but it's felt like those hours are oh they're long. And right now it's what is it three, three thirty, four. four. I I check in at six and then I come back here and then I go back at eight. I have a lot of time left. My nerves were way worse yesterday. Today I feel focused and at peace. I know that I have to get in that ring and I have to throw every single thing I have. Like I have to give it every ounce of my being or else I'll regret this. And there's, I know that I know I will give it everything I have. It's just gearing up to that and being like, okay, that's what you have to do for three minutes. Let's do it, Rudy. Ready to go. You look good, man. Hey, thanks. When you tweeted that thing, so you you woke up and you thought you Dude, you thought you work. but you thought you ejaculated on your son? I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> it was a real tweet though. Like I, I no, know. I I know your tweets are real. The last month has been enlightening dealing with Jersey Jerry. It honestly has. Well, you 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 woke up and you're like, oh no, I came on my son. No, so I changed him in the middle of the night at like 3.30 and I, I didn't put a pamper back on him. I didn't know at the time. And we were rolling around at like 7.30 in the morning and like my hand was like wet. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, oh shit, maybe I fucking did something in my sleep. I don't know. And I looked at him, he just had the onesie on soaked. God, no issues. I was traumatized from the last one. Like, we're trying to figure out how I can know where I'm at. This is just you know. electric right here. Walk me through the fit. Um, always got freshy dad kicks, Carhartt overalls, Carhartt, Carhartt uh, fanny pack, Carhartt pocket long sleeve, um, and an iPhone. It's really all you need to get by. That's about it. Anything I should know? Uh, we just the sponsored stuff. We gotta do the, the <laughs> fucking hate Rudy so much. Do you guys want uh, different people to sit down throughout the show? Yeah. Um, I think the only one we would probably want is Kirk. Okay. Stu cannot. Stu is not. Get Stu out. But he can't be tamed. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna give, be wearing my breathtaking tuxedo with my red tie and then I'm gonna go into the Apollo Creed outfit 
that he wore in rough and uh, excuse me in uh, Rocky one for Coach Doug's. And then when Alex comes out, I'm going to be wearing my Bobby outfit, a dress, a thong, a bra, and lipstick. But I'm ready to roll. I'm giving it 100% for the company, for Coach Doug's, for Alex Bennett, for Dave Portnoy, and for Rough and Rowdy. And I'm ready to fucking roll. Friends with Kenny Pickett, Mitch. He says I don't show Mitch respect, but I do. Because Mitch is on stage. Yeah. He's going to be back up. Mitch is probably just on. Caleb. You hate Jerry? I don't hate Jerry. Oh, you think I hate you because of Pittsburgh? I don't hate you, Alright. I show respect to Mitch, though. He said he has made eye contact. Nothing. No, he, he hit me up and he's like, Mitch looks good and I sent me a picture and I was like, yeah, when are we going to go see Mitch, you know? He's like, never, you're, a, you're a picket guy. Seems like maybe there's a little more bad blood than he left that, let on. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. A little contrary to what he was just saying. Jerry's in a pickle now. Well, it's Caleb, maybe he was a little... He just showed me some texts that may seem like maybe there is a little bad blood. He wants to have the in-run with Mitch and with Pickett. I said, you gotta, I can't put you best friends with Mitch. That's you're, fair. You're going to be a picket guy for he was on the first inside track to become part of the Trubisky family when he first, when the news first happened. Yeah, he yeah, he DM'd Mitch's wife right, right away. On FaceTime with him, talked to his wife. Yeah. This is before the drive of Pickett? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then once Pickett happened, he was crying in your office. Uh, bro, let you is guys... Jerry crying? Jerry's crying. Why is Jerry, Jerry here crying? Hey, bro, that's a <laughs> No, we're not talking about, we're not talking about Kenny Pickett crying. We're talking about Jersey Jerry up there crying. <laughs> oh, Jerry, or, hey, hey, Jerry. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's tears of joy right there, baby. Jerry, <laughs> congratulations, Jerry. Congratulations, Ike Taylor. Jerry dropped uh, tears for this. I showered at Kenny's house. You know, it's that's a little different. Showered at his house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Not like that, but like. Yeah, but you showered at his house. That's actually yeah, a big we've step. Yeah. Rounds of golf. We've done dinners, you know. Smart guys, getting you, you get get the bulldog oh, you get on your side. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's playing his cards right. Yeah. Throw that right yeah. hand. You got to throw more. You got to throw, throw more. Okay, but the second sheet. So I'm, this is my. This is it. Yep. And you got finisher. The you know, word in the green room is you've lost your confidence. Oh, good. I've lost my confidence? That's the word in the green room. What's the green room? Well, we're in. Oh, good. I love that. I prefer to be the underdog. Have you lost your confidence? Hell no. It's bad. It's, I woke up today and I was like, I don't remember the last time I was this confident. Okay, good. Yeah. And also, go. Oh! There he is. What's going on? Kind of a silent call when you came in the room. Yeah, what did you want? Come into my background. Everything got. You became a library in here. What's up, girl? Quick one before the fight, or what? <laughs> That's why I told Big Cat. Yeah. <laughs> Still, we're about ready to get in. I fell in love with him, by the way. Yeah. No, no. This is my guy. I saw you say you. I thought you were gonna drop him. I saw you. Show business. Show business. How much makeup in Florida? Zero. I'm gonna I'm gonna put makeup on when I wear the dress though. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put red lipstick, maybe eyeliner, whatever it takes. Whatever what takes. I'm you say it, whatever it takes. What's it? Whatever it takes to move get the needle. Gotcha. Get it done. Exactly. Gotcha. Put on a exactly. show for the people. <laughs> hey, we're going blues brother, we're going <laughs> blind guy. This is all I could think of. I had nothing else to do. Blues brothers? Oh yeah. And he's okay. <laughs> I'm the manager. I don't know what I'm managing, but I'm here managing. It's just quite, quite, quite it's, the it's, cast. It says something when when a few people walk in the room and Jersey Jerry immediately goes to like fifth craziest. My favorite nights are rough and rowdy nights. There's nothing like fight night. Nothing like fight night. Bad
coming from all angles. I don't know who the hell this mascot is. He's in. He's in. Yeah, he's in. Let's go, Dugs. Uh, Dugs is in trouble. Dugs is in trouble. Dugs is in trouble. Dugs is in trouble. But he's still throwing, Dan. I think Dugs has to try to pull the table out Body on him. shots. Body shots. Yeah. Yeah. Pull the, pull yeah. the chair. Yeah. yeah. Definitely a fair decision. Yeah, it didn't go how you wanted, but we all felt like you put on a very strong performance for Barca, but more so maybe the United States of America. What happened out there? I just, I wanted to go out there and really put on a show. After the last heavyweight fight, it sucked ass. I got booed out of the ring. My main goal was to put on a show and go the distance. And I did that. Honestly, how can you not like Coach yeah, Doug? I love him. And, and just healthy. He lost 30 pounds. To be honest, it's so much energy in the ring. And, and the fact he stood for three rounds, walked out, smiling, good for him. Love getting hype. <laughs> Taught Alex everything she knows. <laughs> I mean, here we go, right? I mean, selfies versus substance, that's what it comes down to. Selfies versus substance. And she should be afraid. She should be afraid. It's gonna be a rough three minutes. Well, it won't even be three minutes. It'll be 30 seconds. She's gonna get her ass and knock the fuck out. Show myself that I can because I know I can. Thank you. You're a fucking boy. I'm gonna be shot. 
I feel like I just got a car accident. I'm shaking. I feel like I just gave birth. I feel like I just gave birth to a newborn baby. It's Alex. I feel like I'm really not excited right now. Congrats, ladies. What's up, man? How was it? She was awesome. She was. She was. What are you talking about? I never picked a side. I was calling the fight. All heart. AB. All heart. Thank you. Any, any final thoughts? Um. Yeah, my final thoughts are actions speak louder than words. And they and everyone knows who that's for. That's Kirk when he said he knew it was over. He said 10 seconds in. <laughs> I love Rough and Rowdy. There's just, there's really nothing like it. It is so much fun to do. And the fighters are incredible. And like, just the entire event, there's nothing like it in sports and uh, thank you to everyone who bought it because it is one of my favorite things I get to do in a dream job anyway. But uh, shout out to Alex, incredible performance. Shout out to Doug's, fought all three rounds. And shout out to Abel Brothers, the most electric twins I've ever seen in my entire life. 